We're all ready for tomorrow's race, but before we begin, let's have a quick look at those who will be fronting the grid. Bottas, Verstappen and Sergio Perez. With qualifying wrapped up, we now have our grid lineup for the big race tomorrow. Be sure to join us then for what will no doubt be a fantastic race. Siema, z tej strony Michael i witam Was w kolejnym odcinku z kariery w grze w 1 2021 i zapraszam Was na Grand Prix Belgii. We're in Belgium once again for today's round of the Formula One World Championship. It's a race the great Ayrton Senna won six times and in 2019 Charles Leclerc became the first driver to take their maiden win here since Michael Schumacher in 1992. Spa-Francorchamps today, a circuit that spans 4.35 miles. There are tons of elevation changes along the way too. 19 corners making up this circuit with nine of those to the right and the remaining 10 to the left. This track is a great one for fans of pure speed. The average lap speed comes close to a whopping 145 miles an hour. With the Grand Prix nearly upon us, Anthony Davidson is by my side once again to offer his perspective. Let's have a chat about McLaren. What do you make of their performance so far this season? Well, the atmosphere within that team seems very positive at the moment. Everyone seems like they're in great spirits and having a lot of fun doing what they do. And that's definitely contributed to the performances we've seen. It's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. Good job yesterday from Valtteri Bottas. The Finn starts from pole position. Edging out Max Verstappen, who will start from P2. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Perez, Norris, Daniel Ricciardo and Leclerc, Mitchell, Sonoda, Raikkonen and Lewis Hamilton, Vettel, Gasly, Carlos Sainz and Ocon. Giovinazzi, Latifi, Fernando Alonso, they've taken a grid penalty, and George Russell, Mick Schumacher, and Nikita Mazepin. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track and get this Grand Prix underway.
approaching the pit window, you'll be on the mediums. The car behind is dropping back by about three tenths a lap. We're leading our teammate by 3.5 seconds. They're on fresh softs. They're in 10th. The time last lap was a 146.7. Gap ahead is 2.2 seconds. Perez is ahead of you. Our gap to the car in front is 2.2 seconds. They're on old mediums. Their tires are three laps old. We think they've got one more stop. The time last lap was a 1 minute 45.1. We think you're going to start losing some tyre grip around now. We're boxing this lap. Give us the best in lap you can. Gap to teammate behind is 2.9 seconds.
We're leading our teammate by 2.9 seconds. They're on old softs. They're in ninth. The time last lap was a 146.0. Right, come in at the end of this lap. Strategy complete. See these tires through to the end now. Sebastian is in the pits. Five laps of fuel remaining. Stop cutting the corners. If you keep it up, the stewards will award you a penalty.
rain is forecast in just over 10 minutes time. Rain in 10 minutes. The gap to the car ahead is 4.1 seconds. of fuel remaining. behind is 2.2 seconds they're on fresh mediums they're in 10 the time last lap was a 1 minute 59.9 Three laps of fuel remaining. teammate by 2.1 seconds.
We have two laps of fuel remaining. is forecast in just over 10 minutes time. Rain in 10 minutes. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. Green flag. Car in front is 1.7 seconds. Okay, pick up rubber and bring it home. A difficult race then on one of the all-time classic circuits, but they persevered to take the win here today. Anthony, tell me, what was it that helped them achieve this success? Well, time management probably played quite a large role in the outcome of this one. As ever, it's not just about speed, it's all about maintaining that speed consistently over a stint, over a race distance. So being able to keep up the lap times while still being smooth on the controls and gentle on the tyres, that's really where the race was won today. So after a magnificent race, we can now see the drivers making their way to the podium. Once again, it's the Silver Arrows who take top spot, a well-earned victory for Mercedes. And now let's take a look at the driver's standings. Valtteri Bottas passes his rival to take over the lead of the driver's championship. Let's focus on the driver of the day, Anthony Davidson. Who do you pick? Fernando Alonso. Wherever he is, whatever team he's in, when is he not just brilliant? He'll give you a performance every time, just like he's done today. Let's move on to the constructors. The lead at the top comes down after a strong weekend from the challenging pack. Well, Ant, an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one. It's contract renewal time, so think about if this is where you still want to be.
We can try and negotiate a better deal here, but we also have the chance to look elsewhere. Here you can make salary demands to the team. Any extra over your base salary will go into your perk fund. The more you demand, the lower the chances of our success. Do make sure that you don't go demanding anything unrealistic for your acclaim level. If you do, the team might refuse to negotiate any more with you in this negotiation period. Here's where you can buy perks to become a better driver both on and off the track. Any fee you negotiate over your base salary in the contract negotiation is cash you can spend on these perks. We had a major issue on the production line earlier this week, so the entire development package for the weekend has failed. Any redevelopments will need to be ordered from the R&D screen, 